Greetings. I just uh, want to show you uh, this little espresso machine I've been uh, um, kind of imagining. Um, it is a, a direct lever machine, which means uh, this lever here, uh, when you raise it up, draws water into a pump, and then when you lower it, uh, the water goes directly to brewing uh, your shot. Now, it's a little different than that, in that in order to pull your shot, you need to pull this brew level lever out. Then uh, this will draw water into the pump. This will pump the water into, uh, the, uh, um, into the group head. And then raising the lever again does not draw air in through the group head. It just draws water in directly from the boiler. And then lowering it again then uh, pulls the shot. So you can uh, do multiple pumps. Obviously, your pressure is going to go down to boiler pressure when you're uh, raising the lever, um, but you won't create a, uh, a vacuum there. Uh, one of the interesting things to note here is when you press the brew valve in, if there's any residual pressure, uh, in the group head, that will be dumped into the tray down here. Um, and also when the, the, the brew valve is pressed in, uh, raising and lowering the lever here cycles water through the group head and back into the boiler. There's an extra water channel in the group head that uh, is, is used to cycle water through to heat up the group head. And then you can see the temperature of the group head here. And then you can see the temperature of the, uh, the pump that's separate from the group head. It's down here uh, inside, the, inside the unit. You've got a, a water level indicator gauge for the boiler. And then you also have a uh, steam knob uh, pulling that out uh, direct steam to the steam one for frothing. And this gauge over here shows us the extraction pressure, and that really only makes sense when you're brewing. So you pull that out, uh, uh, pull your shot, and as you're pulling your shot, you can you know, see your nine bar or whatever it is you're shooting for. And again, pressing this in will dump any residual pressure, so that way it's safe to take the porta filter out right away. In terms of dimensions, uh, top to bottom is about 300 millimeters wide, front to back 300 millimeters deep. Um, sorry, uh, 300 millimeters tall, 300 millimeters deep, and uh, side to side is 250 millimeters. And uh, the clearance of the cup is pretty large. Uh, from the bottom of this uh, porta filter to this uh, drip grate over here is about 125 millimeters. Uh, this is a uh, uh, 300 uh, milliliter cup uh, that I've got modeled here in a popular scale, uh, just to kind of show uh, what that is like. Uh, I'm going to um, say that's pretty much it, but we're going to take a look uh, inside uh, to see what this looks like. Um, here's our uh, boiler over here, and these are the two check valves uh, that prevent water from backflowing. So as you uh, raise, the, uh, raise the piston, um, it draws water in from the boiler into, uh, into the cylinder here, and then when you uh, lower the piston here, um, then the water is directed to this brew valve. And the brew valve, uh, like I mentioned before, will take water and either cycle it through the group head or send it out through the porta filter uh, for brewing. Uh, it's essentially it. It's a fairly simpler boiler, simple boiler. You can see uh, it's a pressure stat, uh, um, turning the uh, AC power on and off, uh, uh, thermal uh, protection uh, down here, and really, um, power switch. That's it. Uh, anything else to explain? Well, let's take a look inside of the pump um, so you can kind of see what that looks like. And uh, so we'll just kind of take a look there. And uh, um, so inside the pump uh, is here. And uh, again, when you raise the lever, this, this piston goes up, drawing water in from the boiler. And then when the piston goes down, it uh, pushes it to this valve, which then directs it uh, where, where you want to go. Um, and if you look here, there's very little air uh, trapped, um, trapped in here. Let's see if we can uh, uh, take a look at uh, um, the cross section here and get a sense of when you're brewing, uh, essentially the brew water goes uh, through this channel and into your brew chamber. Over here is a little dispersion uh, going on up there. Um, yeah, so basically it. I hope that's been informative and uh, appreciate you uh, taking a peek at what I'm working on.